Hi, kindergarten. Welcome back. Recently, we've been talking about the sky. So answer this question. Is the sky always blue? Ask a friend. What are some other colors that the sky can be? Early in the morning, the sun comes up from behind the earth back into the sky and creates different colors in the sky. This is called sunrise. Say sunrise. Once the sun has risen up high in the sky, the sky goes back to being blue. We call this daytime. Say daytime. And then just like it comes back up, it always has some time to go down. So the sun goes down behind the earth where you can barely see it anymore. And the sky starts to change colors again. We call this time of day sunset. Please say sunset. During the evening, you can start to see the moon, the stars, and all those dark colors of the sky. The sky can be blue, or sometimes it can be a dark black. We're gonna call this night. During the sunrise and the sunset, sometimes it's very hard to see the colors of the objects. Can you see the color of these objects? What do you think they are? Ask a friend. During those times, we only see the silhouette of objects. So as you can see, there are two elephants here, but can you see the colors of the elephant? No, instead of colors, it is all black. We can't see any of that color. We call this the silhouette. Say silhouette. Today, we're going to be making silhouettes of our trees. So let's talk about the different parts of a tree. There are three different parts that I want you to know. Repeat after me. The leaves, the branches, the trunk. Go ahead and take your arms and give yourself a big hug. That's how I want you to remember the trunk. The trunk is the part where you could go up and give it a big hug. It's the brown part that is really rough and has bark on it. Now what I want you to do is take your arms, put them in the air. I want you to make your body into the letter Y. So as you hold this letter Y, I want you to say branches. Good job. Now, I want you to remember that branches are kind of like the letter Y. They go off in two or more different directions and they're kind of like arms for the tree. They hang out and make it really wide at the top. And then what do you call these things at the end of the branches? I hope you said leaves. Leaves are what help the tree get energy from the sun. Just like we need oxygen to breathe, the tree needs sunlight, along with a lot of other plants. They all need sunlight and water. So today you're gonna to need a few different things. You're going to need your painting from last time. If you didn't get to paint this last time, I will provide you a piece of yellow paper that you can use, so don't worry. Remember, it should have your name on it. You're gonna place it on top of your placemat. You'll have a paper towel and you'll have a paintbrush. Today, you're also gonna get one of these. This is a very special black paint that you need to be super careful with. What you do is you hold it with one hand and you're gonna share this with your partner. Open it and then put the lid to the side and then place it in between you and your partner so you can share. So we're gonna be painting silhouettes of our trees. What I want you to do is dip, let it drip, and then you can paint. Also, give it a little bit of paint off the lid. So we call this part of the cup the lip. We're gonna go off the lip and give it a little bit less paint. So you don't want a whole bunch of paint on here, you just need a little bit. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to draw the letter Y. So watch me first, I'm gonna do this upside down so that you can see. I'm gonna do one vertical line, so one line that's going up, and then go ahead and make your body the letter Y. It should be something like this. Put your arms up. So we need some Y branches. We're gonna call these Y branches. So I'm gonna do one diagonal line that goes this way, and then one diagonal that goes this way. You don't wanna use a whole lot of paint, remember, go off the sides before you start painting. 
So what letter does that look like again? I hope you said letter Y. Now, do trees look like this? I hope you said no. We need more branches. So I'm gonna put this down so you can see, and then we're gonna give our Y branches some more Y branches. So you're gonna make Ys off of your Ys. You may have to go back and get more paint, that's okay. Y, and then you're gonna keep on going. We're gonna do one more, Y, 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 Y. All right, so that's looking a little bit more like a tree. So let's go ahead and add something to it. We have our trunk, we have our branches. What are we missing? I hope you said leaves. We need to add leaves. Now this I want you to do a little bit differently. We're gonna take our brush, go in the paint, let it drip, get the stuff off the sides, and then we're gonna give our paper kisses. Watch first. That's how we're gonna make our leaves. We're gonna make it with kisses. So I'm not pushing real hard. I'm just giving the paper little dots of kisses, just like this all around those branches. Now take a look at my tree. I want to ask you a question. Did I put any leaves around my trunk? I hope you said no because I did not put leaves around my trunk. Now I did put them on my branches, but I didn't put them on my trunk. Leaves do not grow on the trunk. But now I need something for the bottom. I'm gonna add some grass. So watch me first. Now this is important because you need to have your placemat. You're gonna dip in the paint, let it drip, wipe off the lids, off, off the side of the lips, and then I'm gonna give it some kisses, but this time at the bottom. This is gonna be our grass. So we need something for our tree to grow on. I'm gonna go ahead and add some grass. Here I go. All right, all done with my beautiful silhouette of a tree. Once you are done, you need to make sure that your lid is closed. And then we need to put our paintbrush on our paper towel for now. And then we're going to take our placemat underneath and then bring it to the what? I hope you said drying rack because Mr. Belfield's gonna help you put up your artwork today so that it can be safe and sound.